Hey, how do you there again, folks? Megan, of course, Brandon Wenzel, coming back at you. Another offering off my sample platter. Yes, indeed, folks. <gasps> sample platter video series of videos I've been doing for a little while now. We're over there trying food and drink items. Eat stuff, drink stuff, then I'll talk about the stuff. I let you know all that you need to know about. Hopefully delicious stuff that you can go over there and try out after watching these videos. Or before watching these videos, you know, you, 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 act, you, know, you can always just reaffirm whatever your opinion is. That's the thing you're allowed to do. Hell, that's what the internet tends to be for more often than not, is really just kind of reaffirming things that you already believe. But anyway, I try out stuff, I talk about it. Today I'm in a truck, I try some stuff out in a truck. I'm also wearing an Oakley Dokley shirt. Oakley Dokley. For anybody who watches my video, if I'm wearing a cool shirt, I gotta rep whatever's on the shirt. Oakley Dokley, Ned Flanders Space Metal Band. Really awesome guys, really fun to see live. In fact, and I don't promote this enough, if you watch my channel with any regularity, I also post concert videos because I just I just haven't separated my channel into anything else. So, and I've actually go over there, I've got a number of Oakley Dokley videos from performances that I've seen. So if you're interested, go check those out. Anyway, folks, what am I trying for y'all today? Well, we got a twofer. Because we're doing boom! Lemon perfect! Cold pressed lemon water. This one is strawberry passion fruit. This one is just lemon, baby. Oh yeah, it doesn't need nothing else. I don't know what the hell these are. I found them at a gas station that I was at that I don't typically go to. And I figured, hey, those look like things that I haven't seen. Uh, I'll go over there and try those on a video. They're USDA organic. They're naturally refreshing lemon powered beverage. <laughs> Lemon powered beverage. That sounds like a band name. <laughs> I want to start a band called Lemon Powered Beverage. Oh, we'd be a ska band for sure. Flavor natural and organic flavors, 12 fluid ounces. Let's see. Half a squeezed organic lemon in every. Are there inorganic lemons? I mean, a lemon is organic, right? Like, I mean, I understand that there's like lemon flavoring and stuff like that. 100% understand that. But a lemon by itself is organic. Like, even if you're like, ah, GMOs, like, well, okay, but that's a genetically modified <laughs> organic. So, I don't know. I mean, you know, maybe there's cyber lemons that I'm not aware of going over there and holding back the human race from our true potential from behind the shadows. Cold pressed and full flavor. Hydrating electrolytes, essential antioxidants, 100% vitamin C, made with no artificial ingredients. Sure, why the hell not? I don't care. Made from 100% recycled plastic, enjoy cold. Uh, same thing on this one. It's keto certified, it's gluten free. There's all kinds of do's on, on things, so you can read those at your own damn thing. I guess these are supposed to be like maybe somewhat good for it. Apparently contains 5% of organic lemon juice. I don't know, folks. I don't know. Whenever I do anything that's like quasi healthy or whatever on this channel, it's always so much easier when I do shit where it's clearly terrible for you. It's like, I don't have to go over there and put any type of disclaimer. I mean, I don't have to with these, but I try to anyway. I'm not, regardless of what my takeaway is on these, if anything healthy related, please do your own research. Let's try some stuff that sounds very, very uh, presumptuous. <laughs> this, this, I mean, I'm not, you know, maybe I'll really, this definitely, this definitely feels like some Karen water, doesn't it? Like, and I feel bad for like, you know, cause like I'm sure there's cool Karens out there, but like this definitely feels like some shit, like some Karen shit. Oh. Like, the, this water does Pilates. There's no two ways about that. It does smell good, though. It smells lemony. It actually kind of reminds me of the smell of, like, Italian ice. Like, a lemon Italian ice. In that it, it has, like, a lemony-ness, but it also has, like, a sweetness and it almost smells kind of, like, fresh. Let's give it a shot. You know what? That's not bad. That is not bad. 
the Pilates have paid off, okay? This is, this is not bad. Got zero sugars. Is it sweetened with anything else? Ah, stevia leaf. Okay, so it's, it's yeah, it's, it's flavored with stevia. Because it definitely has a sweetness to it. It's not particularly sweet, but it's not just bitter or sour either, so. It's not bad. Um, it kind of tastes like a weak lemonade is like the best way that I can think to describe it. Like, not a bad lemonade, but like a weak lemonade. Like if somebody went over there and like made some country time or some shit and they added a little bit too much water, that's kind of what it tastes like. You know, where it's just, it's not as sweet as you maybe would like. It's also not as, you know, sour as you maybe would like because there's not a lot of bite to it. But it's not bad tasting either. You Like you'll get away with it. Will you go over there and pay the full nickel for it? Yeah, you will, because, you know, it's an adorable child selling lemonade by the side. They don't know what they're doing. Okay, they, 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 you know, they've made lemonade maybe three times before they decide to become professionals about it. Okay, so I'm not saying it's the best business strategy or business practices, but that just is what it is. Yeah, it's mostly, there's like a very mild sweetness to it. It's mostly kind of like semi-bitter, semi-sweet. Um, or semi-bitter, semi-sour, that's what I meant to say. But then, I guess the stevia, or whatever, it kind of, you know, it keeps it from being like overly bitter, overly sour. But again, it never, it never really fully teeters into tasting like properly sweet either, so... Yeah, I mean, I'm a big fan of lemonade. Doesn't really come up on the show, but I, I really enjoy lemonade. This is, like I said, it's, it's you know, it, it wouldn't, like, qualify as, like, really solid lemonade by any stretch of the imagination, but it's just being a thing. It's okay. Yeah. Like, it's inoffensive. It tastes all right. I don't think it would be a go-to drink for me or anything like that. I also don't remember how much I paid, but I feel like I paid too much for, like, such a small bottle. Like, I have a big head, to be fair. But, like, this is, you know, I, there's a good deal more head than there is bottle. Yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, it, it, it's... Overall, it's pretty good. It's not, like, gonna knock your socks off or anything. And, again, I, you know, the healthy ass whatever, but... If for being what it is, it's all right. It does a pretty good job of what it is, or for, you know, being a tasty drink. I was kind of expecting it, especially with, like, all the sparkling water and stuff and everything, which I've done some reviews of those, so go watch those. I was expecting way worse. Uh, but, yeah, if the worst I can say is that it tastes like, you know, like somewhat watered-down lemonade, that's not too bad. Eh, let's try out the other one. Again, this is the strawberry passion fruit one. I can taste, or, well, hopefully I'll be able to taste it. I can smell sort of a strawberryness to it. So that's got me hopeful. Passion fruit, passion fruit is one of those things where it's like you see it and stuff all the time, but then it's like, okay, at least, you know, where I live and everything. I don't think I've ever known anybody who's ever just eaten a passion fruit just because. So it's like, yeah, lots of things are flavored with passion fruit, but I couldn't tell you exactly what the hell it tastes like. Let's try this thing. Again, not bad. Not bad at all. I'm actually surprised. This one's actually a little bit more sour than the other one. Not by a lot, but it, it gives it a little bite. Um, which actually I find to be rather pleasant.
it doesn't, I wouldn't say it tastes, like, I think they did a pretty good job of sort of like the layering the flavors, because the lemon aspect is still there, but it's kind of underneath the other flavors. And those are more at the forefront, and then kind of as, you know, the flavors kind of rescind, you get some of the lemony aspect of it. But the, I guess the strawberry and the passion fruit or what have you are kind of more at the forefront, which they should be. That's that's what they're marketing it as. Now, mind you, would I say it's like a particularly strawberry-y uh, drink? No. Um, in fact, I would say it almost smells more strawberry than it tastes. But there's something there. Like, it, the, the initial hit is where you get the biggest flavor, um, especially of the, of the other flavors. Like I said, the lemony aspect kind of comes in sort of as it goes along. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's a unique taste, although, I mean, I, I'm certain I've, uh, I'm certain I've had something similar to this, like not the same, but I would imagine it's probably just the fact that, hey, I've had things that taste lemony, hey, I have things that have, taste strawberry, hey, I have things that taste like passion fruit. So my brain is like, I recognize these flavors. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, it's kind of weird, though, in that the the lemon one, I definitely felt my initial reception of this was that I felt that I liked this one more than the lemon one because I liked that it had a little bit more of a unique punch of flavor to it, and I liked that a little bit more of a bite. But as I'm drinking it, that, that opinion is somewhat rescinded because I think overall... This, as a drinking experience, was more... Oh, what's a good way to put it? Um, it was more consistent. That's the word I'm looking for. More consistent throughout. Like, I was surprised that I kind of liked it for what it was, and then my brain was like, oh, it's because it kind of tastes like, you know, sort of like watered-down lemonade. With this, my brain was like, ooh, you know, punchy flavor. I kind of enjoy that. You know, it's got a little bit of a bite. But as it's gone through, I think my brain is kind of like, eh, okay. Okay. Yeah. But it's still pretty good. Like, it, it's, it's still an overall decent drink. Like, both of them are good drinking experiences for what they are. Uh... I mean, ultimately, you know, I, would I recommend them? Sure. They have actually both tasted pretty good. Uh, the thing is, is, like, it's always the thing of, like, who am I recommending them to? I just found these randomly at a gas station, and I do a review show, so it made sense to go over there and do these. Uh, but it's the thing of, like, because, again, like, outside of the health stuff, like, you know, I'm, I'm just going off taste. This is fine, you know, and it's probably, quote-unquote, better for you than, like, a typical store-bought lemonade or whatever. A lemonade just going to taste better? Overall, in my opinion. But it does taste pretty good. And on this end of things, although my enjoyment of it subsided somewhat, I still enjoyed it for what it was. I still thought it was a decent-flavored drink. Um, yeah, it's a weird thing to recommend because, like, I guess the... the the best overall thing that I could say is that they're not offensive and they're surprisingly good based off of kind of like the, again, the somewhat Karen-oriented, you know, way that they're presented, I guess. They're both pretty decent. I don't know if there's other flavors available or whatever, but at least for these two, they're both good. They're not outstanding or anything like that. I don't know exactly in what context you would buy them, but if you do run into them and your brain is like, hey, maybe I should try that, you can go over there and pull back from these memories of having watched this review and be like, oh yeah, that's right, the, the one guy, and he had the Oakley Doakley shirt. He said they were pretty good. 
that that I guess is how I would recommend them. Because <laughs> otherwise, like, I wouldn't get these again. I wouldn't go out of my way for them or anything like that. But I enjoyed both of them for what they were. So, anyway, folks, that's going to do it for me. Have yourself, uh, uh blah. Uh, good. Five things for me before I get out of here. It's been a little bit, I do these videos, like, in batches. And as a result, like, sometimes it might be a few weeks between I do them. And you can typically, I can definitely tell when it has been. Because <coughs> I stumble over some of the, the more, uh, common phrases and things that I use in these, so... I apologize. Five things before I get out of here, folks. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Spanish rest of your month. Monumental rest of your year. You could go over there and have yourself a truly lemon perfect rest of your life. I would probably have a lemonade rest of my life, personally. But at the same time, it's zero sugar. It's all the things. It's, you do you. Oh, Final two things before I get out of here, folks. I, <laughs> I did two drinks before this wearing on me a little bit two final things before i get out of here folks uh number one try to bring some positivity in the world it's not always possible it is however always appreciated but we do can't do it all the time i know i can't do it all the time here's what you do folks you try not to be an asshole okay you're not always going to succeed i know i certainly don't always succeed that's just not going to happen but you know i go over there i drink some lemon perfect i do some reviews and stuff like that try you know i mean this is what I do certainly isn't high cinema or anything, but hopefully it's maybe helpful or at least entertaining. And I try, you know, I try to bring that positivity out in the world a little bit. And when I'm out in the world, I try to mitigate the level of assholishness that I put out there. Not saying I succeed all the time, certainly don't, but anyway, folks, very final thing, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Maybe you're gonna go over there. And uh you're gonna you come up with your own perfect thing, and it's going to be like, uh, great perfect, and it'll have, uh, half of a squeezed organic grape in it, which wouldn't be very much. Grapes are much smaller than lemons, but, you know, somehow it would work, and then you go over there, and you, you know, like, become a super popular drink, like, more of a regional thing, you know, but you do all right for yourselves. Eventually, you go over there, you team up with the lemon perfect people, forge a company based off perfect, you know, somewhat good <laughs> uh, fruit-based water drinks, and, uh, you know, you go over there and you take over the uh, Southeast Market or some shit. Eh. Or, conversely, you could go over there and, um, I don't know, go over there and learn a new recipe to cook, and then you could go over there, you could cook a recipe, and it would be, probably be better than the things that I try on my show. Bye! <laughs>